Hello, welcome to Liago Tipless Travel Finishing. In today's video, I'm going to continue to talk about why drywall joints crack and how Liago Tipless Drywall Finishing works. So uh, today I'm going to talk about why ceiling joints cracks. So uh, in the past 20 years I've been in the drywall finishing business, I've fixed quite a bit cracks on the ceilings. So uh, both flat joint and bad joints, they all cracks for some reasons. So uh, for the bad joints, bad joints cracks often happen uh, around supporting walls, especially uh, the supporting wall corners. If there, a, there is a bad joint right at the corner, we have a, a very good chance to have a crack. So uh, for the flat joint, my friend Shannon from House Improvement asked me if the ceiling flat joint is finished properly by paper tape. Is it going to crack? And the answer is yes, it is. So uh, I'm going to show you some pictures first and then uh, I'm going to talk about why flat joint on the ceiling finished with paper tape cracks. Let's take a look on the pictures. This is a bad joint on the ceiling right on the corner of supporting walls. This is a flat joint on the ceiling. It cracked. So we also call this kind of crack hairline cracks. So why crack happens? So Let's take a look at this piece of drywall. So uh, drywall is also called plasterboard. Plaster has pretty high compressive strength, but it has very low tensile strength. So uh, that is why we use two pieces of paper to sandwich this plasterboard. The purpose for the paper on the surface is to uh, give the drywall enough tensile strength to handle uh, distress. Let's take a look. It's pretty hard to break this piece of drywall, even if it's only about two inches wide. So, crack happens when the uh, the tension on the surface is greater than the tensile strength of this paper. So when the tension is too strong and then uh, the drywall cracks. So let's take another look. Without paper, let's cut this drywall like this, then uh, it's very easy to break it. Now we take a look on the joint, I mean flat joint is finished with paper and mud to see uh, what happened with the joint. This is a sectional view of flat joint on ceiling finished by paper tip. You can see uh, the blue line. The blue line area without paper, it has very low tensile strength. And there is about a quarter thick of mud behind this blue line. Now let's take a closer look on the joint area. Take a look on this red square. 
It is so much like a piece of drywall without paper on the surface. So uh, that right square area is pretty much like the piece of drywall that I took the uh, surface paper off. That joint, that flat joint, is very much like this piece of drywall because there's no paper on this surface. Whenever there's stress, tension on the ceiling, on the surface, like people walk on the floor upstairs, or even the, the children running on the floor, what's going to happen is like this. You take a look, it doesn't take very much effort, you have a crack. So this is exactly how it looks like. The uh, flat joint finished with paper looks like, and this is what happened, like this because we don't have very much tensile strength on this surface without paper. You take a look, easy to break. Tapeless draw finishing is another story, it's much better. So uh, the joint is filled with fiber reinforced tapeless mud. So the tensile strength and compressive strength is much higher than the regular mud. So, and that is why it doesn't crack easily. Even though uh, the tapeless mud has much higher tensile strength and flexibility, it's not easy to crack, but with seating flat joint. If the seating is going to be textured, we still uh, pay extra attention to the joints because the texture seating, if it cracks, it takes too much work to fix it. So what we do is we uh, apply a layer of mesh tape, fiberglass mesh tape on top of the first coat of tapeless mud. So that way, just to uh, reinforce, bubble secure the joint, make sure it's not going to crack. Actually, there are many reasons for drywall joint crack, like framing issues, boarding issues, and the uh, shifting of the building, so many reasons. But being a taper, I practice tapeless travel finishing. I really cannot afford the joint to crack, because when the joints finished with paper tape, if it cracks, I can say, well, the building's shifting, it is boarding issue, whatever. But without tape, if it cracks, then the first reaction of people is, well, you didn't use tape. It sounds like if you use tape, then the joint is not going to crack. Actually, it is not true. So, anyway, I always do whatever I can to make sure the joint is secure, the joint is not going to crack. Thank you for watching.